So in this video, we are going to talk about the reality of trading and maybe I'm going to give you a different perspective on how you can approach the market. Because let's be frank, most of us come into trading with the idea that we are going to get rich quick. And when that's not the case, 90% of people just end up leaving in the first six months. And in this video, I'm going to break down five different harsh realities about trading that you really need to get in your mind. And full disclosure, some of these frameworks that I'm telling you are things that I still battle from time time to time and that's something that you are going to experience a lot in your trading which is even though you know that you are supposed to think in probabilities and not have FOMO sometimes you still fall into that gambling mentality and you end up gambling and while I go through these frameworks I'm also going to tell you how sometimes I make the mistake on not following these frameworks so let's get into the first one which is it is going to take time the whole inspiration of this video was actually a podcast that Riz did with Albi and I I saw a small portion of it where Albi said that his mindset completely changed within trading when he started taking it as a business and his explanation was that in a business you don't really expect for in the first year to be profitable from the get-go and just profit 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 maybe you are one two three years working on developing the business developing the framework of the business and that is going to take money out of your pocket you are going to be learning you are going to be making mistakes but that is what is going to lead you for in the third, fourth, fifth, tenth year, you being profitable with the business. And bringing this framework into trading is really helpful. Why? Because it helps you to have a longer term perspective in mind. We come into trading with a get rich quick mentality and we just want to profit from the get go. We want to profit five figures, six figures, seven figures, just like the other traders that we see on YouTube. We want to do that ourselves, but that's not how things go because of two reasons. One, you haven't gone through the journey that that person has been on and two you are just on your early stages of trading it's basically like someone that goes to university and then asks themselves how am i not making money yet with this degree while they're six months into the degree so yeah i've definitely fallen into this category quite a bit but lately not so much and when i have it's been mostly because i see other people that i'm connected with really being very successful getting five figure trades four figure trades on a consistent basis and then i'm left wondering like oh my god what am i doing wrong and why am i not having these results yet and it does put me a little bit into that fomo state but i'm able to rationalize it and just throw it out the window and it's definitely harder now with social media where you do see people withdrawing fifty thousand dollars from their ftmos you see people banking two thousand dollars three thousand five thousand dollars per trade and this is why i have not yet understood if twitter was a net positive or net negative for myself but yeah it's going to take time it's definitely something that a lot of people fail to understand because trading is an industry where people really do believe that they come into the markets and they profit that's it that's not the case that's why 90 percent of people fail which takes me to my next one which is getting rich quick is actually not the way to go. Now I'll tell you a personal story here. Getting rich shouldn't really be a one-off thing. And the reason for this is because you want to become wealthy and the journey from broke to rich entails a lot of hardship, which is going to make you a stronger person. It's going to connect you to new people, which is going to really help with your network. And it builds a lot of character going through these hardships of ups and downs in your life, which once again are going to build character. And this is why you hear wealthy people saying that you could drop me off in any English speaking country flat broke. And I know that I would be able to be rich in a couple of years. Why? Because they've developed the skill set, they've developed the ability to network they've developed a business mindset a winning mindset and they now understand how life works and because of that they are able to start from scratch all over again and get rich again and this does not happen when you are in a crypto pump and you make 1000x your first investment and all of a sudden you are just a kid with no character that is all of a sudden rich you've never been through the hard stuff that life brings to you when you are building a business when you are doing x y and z and this is where the personal story comes because in the crypto bull run from 2020 i started investing in 2020 october into bitcoin ethereum and other crypto projects i had a lot of them that 10 x and my net worth really skyrocketed as that happened but all of a sudden i was becoming complacent i was like why would I even trade if it's so easy to make money? I remember sending an audio to my friends, my trading friends and saying, guys, like, I don't know, like I'm, I'm making so much money with crypto that 
Like, trading and trading is so much harder and by the way so much money was not that much money it was at the time and so i started becoming more complacent in my trading i started not putting that much focus on it because i had other streams of income but obviously i didn't build the character that was needed in order to have that kind of money thankfully i didn't blow it and i was able to cash out a solid amount and because i was so frugal i didn't spend it so it's not that it made a big dent it just made me complacent for some time and that's why your goal is not to become rich quick which takes me to my next one which is good habits compound but bad ones do too and the idea here is that you start thinking that i can just enter in this trade i know it's fomo i know it's not in my plan but who cares i know the trade is going in that direction i'll just put this trade on or i know this trade really is going i'm going to risk three percent and you know these things are wrong but you do them either way because who cares it's just once but let's say that you do risk three percent and you do make ten percent on that trade all of a sudden you just found something new you just found this shiny object which is risking more to make a lot and it's not going to be a one-off thing because eventually you'll think let's do this again let's try this again and you take a loss let's try this again come on i'm still in profit let's try this again i'm even going to risk five percent i'll make the money back and i'll stop doing this but will you that's the thing bad habits are going to compound and so as soon as you start risking a little bit more you are going to open up the gates to the possibility of you risking more money once in a while and that is going to be the bad habit that is going to compound. But if on the flip side, you are the type of trader that waits for their trading plan to play out, has proper risk management, doesn't give in to FOMO, doesn't close trades early, these things are also going to compound and give you good results. And so every time you are deviating from your plan and you think this is a one-off thing, put into your mind, is it really a one-off thing? This is probably one of the most important mindset tips that I can give you. Bad habits compound, good habits compound. Choose what side you want to be on. And now you might be saying, oh, I know, I know, whatever. I've heard that a million times. But is that really true? Because one thing that I was not told from the get-go when I came into trading and I was very impressed by was that this is one of the biggest journeys of self-discovery that you could be on. You're not just trying to hack the markets, you are trying to hack your mind because your mind was not made to come into the markets. If you take a trade that was out of your plan but you try to fit it into your plan, you're lying to yourself. Those are behaviors that you need to get to the root cause of it and solve them. And if you keep lying to yourself, if you keep saying, oh, I'm a consistently profitable trader, I'm a consistently profitable trader, but you're doing the actions that an unprofitable trader does then are you really a consistently profitable trader or are you lying to yourself and i personally i have fallen into the trap of maybe let me just set this trade because i know it's going to go there so even though it didn't really sweep liquidity let me just try to enter and it was never a one-off thing again and those bad habits compounded until i decided to put a stop to it and well focus on my psychology on that front so now every time i'm trying to enter in a trade and i notice it is because of fomo I try to stay out. So take this as another mindset hack, which is put into your mind that you are not only trying to discover the key to being a consistently successful trader in the markets, you are also on a journey of self-discovery, which means that you are also going to have to find the key to consistency in your mind, not only the markets. And by the way, markets first, mindset second. And the last one ties everything together that there is no holy grail and you need to know how to play the game of probabilities. And the reason for this is because you might be searching for the strategy that will not give you any losses. That's not going to happen. But now you might be lying to yourself and say, no, that's not what I'm looking for. But every time you take a loss, you're like, hmm, what did I do wrong? Okay, this trade, this happened. Okay, so I will never do this again. But maybe it completely fits your plan. And if it completely fits your plan and you're trying to change something that happened inside that trade, now you're changing your edge, the edge that you know is going to play out in 100 trades. And now you take another loss, but that was the game of probabilities of the next Next edge. And so I will leave you with that. Learn to play the game of probabilities and let it play out for 100 trades. And I will see you next week.